Hey y'all, Shay again, back with another video. So sometimes when I'm off work and I want to chill on my couch in my living hall just to give some time on my own and suddenly my phone would die from low battery and all my electric points are quite far apart from uh, where I like to sit and while we are not encouraged to use our phones while charging them but admit it we have done it from time to time right so I mean it's not something that I really really want to do but it will, it will be nice to have an island where you can charge your phone and then to put them at the same place so what I'm doing this week is I'm going to build a table with an extension cord built inside of the table what I'm going to need for this project is you know obviously an extension cord I'm using 1.5 meter um, of wire Next one, a 1 inch uh, wood here, 9 mm play wood, 4 2 and a half inch screw, 4 brackets for the leg support, 1 inch wood bar here, some smaller screws for the bracket, and um, a few uh, wire concealer here. And for the finishing, I'm gonna try to use a wood stain this time around. I've never used it, so I'm using this orange color. We'll see how it goes. Okay, shall we go? So first off, I'm taking the measurement of height and length of my couch, which later to be transferred onto the one inch plank. My measurement is 44 and a half inch times 10 inch. Then the usual process to cut it with a jigsaw. And sanding each side using an angle grinder. And then to cut the 9mm play wood into the exact size of the one inch play wood. Now I'm drawing the exact size of the extension cord which will be cut later on. So for the inside cutting, I'm using an 8mm drill bit to drill a hole that allows the jigsaw blade to slot in. Once that's done, the next step is to put some wooden glue on the 9mm as the base of the table. Make sure that you clamp each side nicely to allow the wood glue to set. While waiting for the glue to set, I'm measuring the height of the leg. So it's going to be a 33 inch and I'm cutting them using the guide of my box to ensure that I have an even cut. At the center of each leg, I'm drilling a hole that allows the screw to go in without breaking the wood. And right now, I'm clamping all four legs together and sanding them out using an angle grinder. Back to the tabletop, once the glue is set, I'm trimming all sides of the table and removing the sharp edges. To make sure that I don't have the screw head bulging on the table, I'm drilling a quarter of that using a slightly larger drill bit before drilling holes using a smaller drill bit. Next is to secure the legs to the tabletop using the 2.5 inch screw. To strengthen the legs, I'm putting two brackets on each leg. So this is how it looks like right now. Um, it doesn't look too sturdy, um, but it doesn't matter actually because so I'll be putting this one beside my couch. So the couch would really help to support um, this island table here. Honestly, I'm gonna take a break right now because working in fasting month, it's really, really tiring. I don't know how all those, you know, professional woodworkers, professional metal workers, I really don't know how they are doing it while fasting my respect for them increases like by high amount right because i'm gonna take a stop for today i'm gonna continue uh tomorrow so what's left now is just to uh, apply some finishing on this and then hopefully to be able to address some of the uh, flaws that i might find uh along the way 
Now it's the table finishing time. I'm using a wood stain and brushing them lightly for the first layer before adding the second and the third layer. And now I'm reconnecting the wire back to the plug. Make sure that you follow the right sequence of the wire to avoid any unwanted incidents. And the final part to use the wire concealer to hide the wire as they move along the wall. Okay, so now that the console table is finally done, so now is the time for me to give in my review on how I feel about that project. So the first one is time. Overall, it's taken me six hours in the span of two days. So these six hours do not include the paint drying time. So for six hours, I'm gonna give it three and a half star. And as for the cost, so the overall cost is 63 ringgit and 50 cent. You can see the breakdown of the cost. So for the cost, it's kind of in between. I, I feel it's somewhere between cheap and expensive. So I think if you look online or any furniture shop, you can find something similar with a lower price. But I mean, let's be real. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is for its purpose. So on the cost, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to put it at three star. Okay, on the technical side, so honestly speaking, I'm still struggling with um, woodworking. So on my first day, I can still see while cutting, I have some wavy cut. It's not obvious, but it's enough to be seen if you are to look at it closely. So for technicality, I'm going to put it at 4 star for now. So for the satisfaction, I have to admit, when I first started this white collar DIY, I would never imagine that I would be able to build something like that. You know, I do not have any experience in woodworking. I do not have you know, enough tools to build it, but it's done. It is really satisfying to see, you know, as close as how I imagine it to be while planning the table. It feels really, really good. So five stars from me. I don't think it's too much. Let me know in the comment section, how many stars would you put um, on the satisfaction if you were to build this yourself. All right, that's it for this week's video. If you enjoy the process um, and if you learn something new while watching my channel, click on the subscribe button, the notification bell. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and share my video to your friends and even your family. So if you missed my last week's video, click on the link at the end of the video to go back to the previous video. So until then, hopefully I'll see you next week. Ciao. Mm -hmm.